This conference will now be recorded. Hi, good evening. Am I audible? So today we are going to start a new topic. Facebook marketing. Shall we wait for another five minutes? So before we start, <clears throat> we'll try to understand uh, what is the active users of uh, Facebook. So try to visit in the Google. So I wanted to see what is the number of users, active users for Facebook. So write Facebook active users. When you type, it's saying that 3 billion active users monthly okay so it is an approximately which has given <clears throat> so Facebook active users per monthly uh, according to the survey uh, 2023 so 3 million monthly active users as of now uh, in the second quarter of 2023 so Facebook is most uh, uh, used in the social media network worldwide and any social media platform if you take uh, like Facebook, YouTube, in Instagram. Okay, so this is the only one platform where we can have like a 2 to 3 billion active users. Okay, so when you visit a Facebook page like Try to type facebook.com or else NICT computer education. Right, Facebook page. So when you click for this. it is taking you to the page then asking your email id and password so now i am going to type my mail id and press enter key so saying that it's wrong Then I have to create a new one. So create a new account. re-enter your mail id then put password then take the date click sign up So this is what I'm creating is personal page. 
so not a business page <clears throat> so click continue I'm not a robot pedestrians so now my account has been created now I will try to uh, log in into our NICT page Then I have to check my mail ID. Sign in. Select your account. So I wanted verification for now. So this is our verification code. I'll be copying this. Six eight four six five zero. Six eight four six. Am I correct? Five zero. Then you click update. And click next or update your mail. Then continue. Okay, so now again you come back and stay tuned to NICT Facebook page. So I don't want my personal page, just I wanted to show you how that NICT or any business page look like. So click login. So already I've entered this credentials. So I don't want to be entered again. Again asking all the criteria. You take some photo like this. So click continue.
I have to use some other ID. Okay, so I will be directly I'll be taking Facebook cover page. So this is a cover page of the Facebook and next you have profile profile image. Yeah, everything almost so to which can use it Google. So take this. Facebook profile picture. And click the category. Ishika, just uh, mute it, mute the mic, ma. So here I can continue. It, then only you can allow you to create so it is going to be a comprehensive list uh, size social media platform one of that I am using Facebook then profile size share size must be 180 into 180 pixels then you create one more cover page or cover photo the size must be 820 into 312 
Sir, you are not audible. Thank you. The screen is visible, right? So please let me know if I if I am not audible or the screen if not shared because uh, internet is going to fluctuating sometimes. Okay, so put me in the uh, WhatsApp or put me in the chat so that I can comes to know what is the exact problem from my side. Okay. Thank you for uh, note. Uh, thank you for the information. So what I would like to take the third one is uh, whenever you post uh, like uh, videos and uh, images. Okay, so Facebook has one you know algorithms to determine what type of contents are going to be appears in the user news feeds. So Facebook has one news feeds. So in that Facebook algorithm Facebook algorithm using this Facebook algorithm this is going to be determine determines what content appears in users news feed users need news feeds like understanding that evaluations helps to the digital marketers and craft the strategies and what is a maximize uh, visibility and also engagement so to get that informations we wanted to have this okay when you have this uh, uh, Facebook algorithms we can get into We can get into edge rank. So focused on uh, affinity, weight and time decay to determine the post visibility. And second one is recent updates. So this recent updates emphasis, emphasis on the meaningful interactions prioritizing the contents posters genuine engagement like comments shares so on so on this are all comes under Facebook algorithms next when we talk about uh, roles in the modern stat uh, strategic role of the business page okay so brand awareness we have to create the fourth one I'm, I'll be writing here So in the fourth one, the strategy, role of Facebook in modern marketing.
so you're not audible yes ma i'm checking my internet am i audible now yes sir so what i was telling is uh, we have to set the go before to increase the page likes and followers this we have to uh, keep on working on your personal pages and as well as business pages increasing page likes and followers and secondly we have to boost our engagements boosting the post engagements like comments then and Rudra Jaiswal or Neeti, please mute your mic. Yeah, thank thank you. So the third one is driving the traffic to a website and fourth one is and so these are the main go once if you set up the main goals and we have to check this involves tracking the relevant of the metric facebook insights kpi so kpi stands for key performance point or indicators so using this key pointer indicators we can understand the statistics of number 1 <clears throat> measuring the success rate number 1 reach and impressions reach and impressions is nothing but number of unique users who sees your content number of unique users who can see your content this what reach the impressions number 2 engagement rate how can i measure this it's using this uh, interactions and uh, relatively uh, to reach the total number of re uh, reaches and interactions like comments and shares so we have to engage our uh, rates so we have to increase our en engagement and then sharing the things number 3 ctr click through rate click through rate percentage of users who clicked on the links within your post whenever you click that takes you to the web page 
page or direct traffic to the web page or also boosting the post eng eng engagement so how many people they have clicked on your post to identify the percentage of that will be using ctr then fourth one is conversion rate so conversion rate who completely uh, desires that action such as like making the purchase or signing up for the new uh, you know product so which is going to be providing in the business page then everything is going to be working so this is your measuring success is it clear now so one one we have to uh, understand as i told you one is business page and one more is uh, personal page so business page and personal page it's completely uh, different we cannot able to that i will uh, that i will talk about later personal page and business page and also there will be some limits so number 1 when we talk about uh, personal page and business pages the purpose of the personal page is to personal social networking and also connecting with the friends and families that is the main purpose of using the personal page but when we talk about the business page if you or organization or any public figures uh, to promote themselves and also audience that is two so please remember here the differences between personal page and first i'll be taking aspects then here personal page then we have a business page so the purpose is this for personal social media for connecting friends and fan but here for business and brands and organization okay why we have to create this engage audience this is the main purpose and second thing is profile type the profile type personal profile with the friends and followers will be having and in the public profile this is your personal profile and this is business profile so this business profile which can create that that can be liked by anyone okay so i'll be writing can be liked by anyone but here with friends and followers this is the second aspect and third aspect connections limits anybody knows what is the connections limits of the personal page so the limited to 5000 friends in your face personal uh, facebook page system itself identifying that maximum limits will be 5000 friends and unlimited followers here unlimited likes and followers
this is a third differences and when we talk about content sharing like videos photos images so those are all considered as a content and when you share that contents this is going to be a personal update shares your personal update photos and videos here shares that professional content share professional content then promotionals promotions and updates and events when we talk about uh, analytics and insights like statistics we will be having only the basic engagement metrics engagement metrics likes comments shares like comments shares but here comprehensive analytics what is the meaning of comprehensive analytics nothing but page insights page insights including reach engagement performance so on and so on next we have advertising options in the advertising options limited to boost post boost post here we have full access to facebook ads manager for creating and managing ad campaign then custom tabs are available but here is not available when we have ability to add the custom tabs like shop then services okay then events so so on so on that custom tabs can be added and page roles in the page roles managed by single or individuals but here we can manage multiple admin roles multiple admin roles with different level with different levels of access which are those number 1 admin itself then editor then moderator etc then when we talk about seo and discover discoverability in the discoverability when we have a personal messages from the friends and followers in that way we can find us but here the messengers sorry optimized for searching so content or improve the discoverability optimized for search engines your complete activities optimized for search engine to improve discoverability
then we have a messenger integrations we can integrate with uh, messengers but for personal messenger integrations personal messages from the friends which is only that possible okay but here uh, what we can say messenger from the business which is going to be automated responses from the customer support tool messenger for business with automated responses and customer support tool we can integrate from third party uh, tools also for automation things and next we have a cta call to action button so this call to action button here not available but in the integra integrated shopping features such as like shops then product catalogs so thus th this can be uh, available means integrated with the shopping features okay and call to action button so i forgotten to tell you is so call to action button cta buttons like contact us then book now whenever you see the business pages just you check okay and uh, shop now so these are the things which are available for the business pages and uh, when we talk about that uh, e-commerce integration platform e-commerce integrations so this is possible but in this personal page is not possible customer can sorry integrated shopping features integrated shopping features available and next we have a review and rating so review and rating it's here it's not available but customer can leave their reviews and rating here customer can leave reviews and rating in this concept and when we talk about content scheduling so content scheduling when you have a busy schedules but in the personal page is not available when we have a business pages you can schedule the post schedule your post in advance however you want using page publishing tool using page publishing tool and next we have one more features here third party tool so third party tool here we have a limited integrations and also external tools here we have a extensive integrated integration with the third party marketing tools analytics tools and also e-commerce tools third party marketing analytic and e-commerce tools then last one is monetization so monetization 
limited to the personal uh, pages sponsorships and for the business page access to the monetization features facebook uh, ad breaks then brand collaboration manager so using those things we can do this so these are the uh, different different uh, differences between the personal page and as well as business page so i will send you this entire uh, concept of this uh, what is the major differences between your personal page and as well as uh, business page so we have a question sir which are the tools we are going to use for the entire uh, creating the business uh, page and also for conducting the facebook marketing so to conduct facebook marketing in facebook itself we have a uh, some set of tools which is called as facebook tools within a facebook application and which will have their own different purposes and also the key features are available each one of the tool for conducting facebook uh, advertisements or creating facebook marketing we have some set of tools and purposes and key features and also usage one example i am going to take one is facebook page itself just now i uh, i've spoken what is the main purpose of the pay facebook page the facebook page is one of the tool that is allow you allow us to create business pages to presence on the facebook that is the main purpose to create a dedicated business in the facebook then we required facebook page okay the key features so that can be customizable layout post can be added photos can be added then videos events customer reviews call to action button so these are the features which are available in the facebook pages the main usage will be establish the business presence and also we can share the content with the uh, different different uh, communicate uh, communicate communicate category of the customers so this is our one of the tool how we can make use for facebook advertisements so like this diff different different tools are available so number 2 meta business suit meta business suit you might have heard about this so why do we use this meta business suit this is going to manage facebook and instagram account from a single platform so to create and manage uh, in single platform for these two account then we required meta business suit and which will give you dashboard and content scheduling and messaging and analytics advertising and management and also the main usage will be streamline your account managing your multiple accounts and schedule the post and tracking the uh, track performance we we required meta business suit then we have third one is called as facebook ads manager you heard about this facebook ads manager why do we use this to create to manage and to ad, uh, optimize advertising campaign okay so to creating managing and optimizing your campaign facebook ads using this facebook ads manager we are going to creating the campaign so people will ask you which tool will be using for creating managing and optimizing your advertising campaign among this facebook ads manager and key features will be what ads ad creations can be done and target we can target the customers and also budget management and performance tracking and ab testing okay you can run multiple ads and you can test which one is running and also the when we talk about uh, usage of this uh, facebook ads manager reach the targeted audience promote your product and services and analyze the ad performance 
then next we have Facebook insight so Facebook insights Facebook insights itself it's a one of the tool and it's going to provide detailed analytics on the pages and performance and also audience engagement once again I'll repeat Facebook insight provide detailed analytics on the page performance and also audience engagement and when we talk about uh, key features for this uh, uh, Facebook insight the metrics like uh, likes reaches engagement and uh, audience demographics wise post performance analysis so we can get the different different features to understand that audience interactions this is going to be a, a beautiful uh, one of the tool optimize the content and also track the growth next we have Facebook's creator studio Facebook creator studio so Facebook creator studio manage your content creation and also performance for your Facebook and Instagrams then key features will be what post the creations and schedule insight and monetization tools and write management and create and schedule your post and also track the content performance monetize your videos these are the main usage by creating uh, or by make use of this Facebook creator tool and we have a Facebook shops Facebook shops you can create online storefront to sell your product and also customizable layout which are available and then product catalogs are available and e-commerce integration checkpoints can be created by make use of this features and which gives some of the usage like uh, providing that seamless shopping experiences and uh, showcase or showcase or we can call it as a sell product you can sell the product in the different if by creating the different catalogs and also uh, what I can say layout customizable layout for the product catalogs and next we have a Facebook events Facebook events to promote and manage your online and offline tool event creation invitations event promotions then engagement uh, tools and why do we use these many things organize and promote your events engage with your attendance 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 attendees and also keep track your attendance and also feedback from the customers so because of that reason we wanted to have this Facebook Facebook events next we have a Facebook groups so Facebook groups it is to create or to build a uh, nurture communications around the shared interested and be, uh, business topics creating the groups memberships and content sharing and also discussion forums and uh, groups in what is uh, going to be happen okay and what is the earlier database and what is the uh, you know you can what you can change in the new uh, earlier databases so using this group insight we can learn and also we can customize as you want to conduct your ads the main usage will be creating the community and facilitate facilitating for the discussion and uh, gather feedback and build the loyalty okay then next we have Facebook audience network When you have a Facebook audience network like you can extend your business ads to your third-party applications and also website then ad placement in the external apps or website targeted based on the Facebook data and also performance your trackings this are the these are the major tools which are going to work in your Facebook platform and one more I have forgotten to mention that is Facebook business manager Facebook business manager this is going to be centralized and control your business asset and manage permissions and key features will be asset management user roles 
permissions, security and activity logs where exactly is going to be created and main usage will be what manage the multiple assets teams and also control the access and uh, ensure the security compliances or not. So uh, I guess uh, these are the major tools which are going to be working for your Facebook marketing. Clear we have to use all of this without this we cannot able to create our Facebook ads. So number one business page needs to be created and if you have multiple accounts like Facebook accounts and Instagram account if you wanted to conduct advertisements in the uh, Instagram platform then what uh, tool is required meta business suit is required and if you wanted to create any advertisements then you, you required Facebook ads manager and if you wanted to see that uh, performance and uh, metrics and all then insight is required to create any content or visualization content for the post for Facebook and as well as Instagram use this creator studio and shops Facebook shops Facebook uh, Facebook events then Facebook groups and audience network so audience network is for community and groups is for uh, what I would like to say nurture build a nurture and also engagement group creations memberships and also content uh, sharings discussion forums and group insights so to create a community and facilitate uh, the discussion forums we have to use that is there any doubts so please ask me before I take you to the practical make ensure what are the tools but we will be not using that entire tools so only for uh, we will show you how to create ads then how to run how to uh, post okay and how to create business uh, pages okay and whenever you have free time and go through that one of this uh, all one of this uh, tool and try to understand how does it works clear okay so have a five minutes of break then we'll try to understand what exactly that meta business suit whatever I've written business uh, meta business suit how does it works what are the features of that area that and all will discuss okay then have a five minutes of time relax yourself
so welcome back <clears throat> here we have a business suit meta business suit meta business suit also called as facebook business suit meta business suit also called as facebook business suit it is a comprehensive platform <clears throat> facebook uh, business suit it's a comprehensive platform designed to uh, help our business manage and also presence our businesses on the facebook and also uh, instagram and as i told you this is one of the tool and where there's going to be a centralize all your essential functionality required to manage your multiple social media accounts efficiently enabling your businesses to streamline your social media operations in depth like uh, what a meta business suit is going to offer like uh, one of the features like uh, we have a uh, what i can say content management so content management that can be uh, created like post creations then uh, content calendars then drafting and uh, scheduling so these are the features are available in this tool like if I, if you wanted to create schedule and also publish any one of the post and also stories across your facebook and instagram then content management is going to be helpful that features which will have in the facebook business suit and also we have a content calendar so suppose if you wanted to schedule and also a calendar views which are uh, newly available in this area and drafting and also scheduling features is also available later uh, if you if you draft or if you save any content for later and also schedule the posters to be published at the optimal time so using this content management features in your facebook business to suit and also we have a second features like uh, messaging so automated responses and also customer interactions this features which are available in this uh, business suit we can set up our automated replies to your common questions and also to improve the responses time we have one more features like insight and analytics to measure or to perform uh, to uh, understand the performance of the metrics and audio audience insight and reports if i wanted to generate and download the performance of the report and analyze and also share that uh, share that into uh, with your team then this tool is going to be help us and we can advertise management ad creations can be done and budget management can be done ad performance can be done in that ad curve performance we have we can monitor and also to perform the uh, the performance of the of, of your ads with your detailed metric and also we can insight our uh, performance using this advertisement management next we have com uh, commerce management like shop integrations then product listing then sales insight these are all available in this commerce management then team collaborations like roles and uh, perform permission settings task management we can assign and we can we have a uh, notifications alerts and we have a uh, different types of features like custom alerts and real time alerts so these are the different different key features which which are available in the business suit number one as i told you content management can be done through the business suit or uh, meta business suit messaging can be done insight and analytics advertisement management then commerce uh, eco sorry commerce management like shop integrations product listing and sales uh, insight team collaborations notifications so these are the main features available in our business suit when we talk about the benefits so benefits like improve our improve our uh, communications and data driven decisions it's uh, related to ai and enhanced our collaborations and holistic views which are available and also it is going to be a integrated marketing organic to paid 
content together ensuring that a strategic approach for to the social media marketing this features brings in our meta business suit but if i wanted to start up uh, in the business suit accounts then you have to set up one new uh, set up one uh, one account like when sure that you have admin access for your page and business account or instagram account visit your meta business suit or facebook uh, business suit website and also download your mobile app and you can set up your account in this area and after that connect your multiple accounts or connect your accounts connect our account is nothing but linking your pages to your instagram account to their to the suit for seamless management and finally create and schedule the content as you want and finally monitor and engage what is the responses of your messages and comments promptly and also you will get a inbox response responses okay and finally analyzation and optimization so everything is works in your business suit so business suit is one of the powerful tool for our businesses looking to enhance your social media presence on the facebook instagram then we wanted to have a comprehensive features then businesses can stre streamline their operations and improve your engagement and drive your traffic to the website and better result from the social media efforts we need to have facebook business suit so we will be using in the next upcoming classes onwards we'll be using facebook pages and meta uh, business suit and facebook ads manager facebook in insights so on so on have a look once here still is not updated So Facebook dot com. So come out from this log out. fb.com NICT Computer Education Facebook page. Don't know it's working or not. Okay, so when you scroll down here, you can see this is your uh, our uh, profile image. This is our cover image.
So you can see here uh, what we have cover page. This is a cover page and this is our profile image. This completely uh, belongs to business page. Okay, and about your company. So you have to specify one minute. They have not mentioned because I, uh, I'm a, just a audience means I'm So when you scroll down, you'll get the list. You'll be getting the list of uh, posts, videos. And look at this home page. So right click and enable it. So when you click here, you have friends list. This is completely a personal page. I think system is slow. So we will see in the next class how we can create our business page and what are the features, whatever I taught you now that I will, that I will show you practically and we will try to create one ads and how we can set up our uh, uh, profile picture, cover picture, or cover photo, and uh, what are the types of ads we can get created? That 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 and all we will see in the next upcoming classes. So, can I take your uh, any queries if you have? Do you have any queries belongs to this session? So, please let me know if you have any queries. I can solve. Okay, my final question is that under, understanding the session, what I'm conducting, I'm explaining. Okay, so next class, uh, practically, I will try to uh, show you uh, whatever I've explained through the theory, making you to understand. Just I'm educate, trying to educating you uh, what is inside of this Facebook and uh, how I have uh, given training for uh, Google Ads. So similarly, I'm making you to understand what are the tools that are available, what are the Facebook pages uh, like personal pages and business pages and uh, demographics. Okay, so giving you some basic information, that's all. Okay, but for practically, if I take, it will get over within uh, half an hour. Okay, but making you to understand each one of the area of this uh, Facebook, it takes a lot of time.
So who is the in charger? Uh, like uh, who is CR in the class? Please type their name. One minute. Is it Supriya? Class representative, who is CR in your classroom? Okay, guys, uh, we'll continue in the next class. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So meet you up in the next class. In case if you are not practiced with the Google Ads, try to practice in the middle. If you get any doubts, you, you put me in WhatsApp, then uh, I'll resolve your queries. Even for practicals also, uh, try to work and uh, send me the result. Okay. So see you all guys. Meet you up in next class.